Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Do The Work. To do The Work, we're going to do the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario, and we're going to tackle question 3 for this video. And before we get going, I recommend that you hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate that, and that way you won't miss the future videos. The playlist should cover the entire test and get you ready to ace the test. So. The, before we do any problem, the, we need the first step is to know the theory behind the solution and the steps. So let's look at take a look at the problem, and it says we which equation below has x equals twelve as a solution. So first of all, we have equation, and maybe I'll just use uh, black here. So equation means you can kind of tell from the word it means that there's an equal sign there's a left side and then a right side and the left side is equal to the right side they're the same thing just not writ written in the same form so and then it says that has x as a solution a solution is something that makes it makes the left side equals the right side that's the solution because x is a variable this is a variable or an unknown sometimes uh, you you see so here it's more of an unknown because x doesn't take different values it only has one solution right so it'd be more an unknown we're trying to find what x is <coughs> in all four equations and one of them will be 12. Okay, so what do we need to know here? We need to know bad mass because we have different orders of operation. We need to know what is a variable and we need to know how to solve equations. So these are all videos that you can click the, the link on. If you click the link here and you have access to the PDF by clicking the link in the description. So I strongly encourage you to do that. Okay, so now let's get to it. If x equals 12 is a solution, what I'll do is I'll, I'll substitute it in to each option. So I'll use substitution. I'll sub x equals 12 into a, option a. So that would be 3 times 12, 17 equals 19. And you see how x is equal to 12 here I just substitute x equals 12 into everything so then that would give me my left side would be 3 times 12 minus 17 that's minus 5 is that equal to 19 no 3 times minus 5 that is negative 15 right so that is negative 15 and I'll use does not equal to 19 so we know it's not it's not this one. So technically we can't put an equal sign. We'd have to put a little question mark over it because we're not sure. We're trying to figure out if it's equal. The left side and the right side is equal. Okay, so let's move on to B. So we're kind of using the trial trial and error approach here, but let's keep going. So we would do eight times twelve plus 4 is that equal to 12 we can see that it's not already right 8 times 12 let's see 8 times 10 is 80 plus 2 times 8 so that's 96 plus 4 is that equal to 12 and 96 plus 4 is 100 so 100 is definitely not equal to 12 so we know it's not a it's not B let's keep going with C so we have two thirds of 12 plus three. Is that equal to negative five? Well, let's see. Okay, so two thirds, this is a multiplication of fraction, right? So I can, you multiply the top and multiply the bottoms, but you can simplify before. So if I, maybe I'll use another color. I'll use green here, oops green so divide by three that gives you one and then if you divide this by three 
that gives you four, right? So you're basically left with two times four over one times one. So then this would be two times four, so that's eight plus three. Is that equal to negative five? And the answer is no, 11 is not equal to negative five. Not equal. So it's not C. So by default, it's D, but it's always good to confirm our answer because we might have made a mistake. For example, in C, there might have been a plus minus mistake here, but we'll see. So you have seven over three times 12 again, minus six, is that equal to 22? Okay, so we divide by three, we get one, then we divide by three, we get four again. So then that would be seven times four over one, one, so that's 28. 8 minus 6, is that equal to 22? The answer is yes, those two are equal. So I'll put a green here, so it's obvious. So we can t say definitely that it is this one. So that was kind of the hard brute force way. But the last step after solving any particular problem, it's never a bad idea to look back and try to understand why the solution worked the way it did. And to do so here, we can try to solve for x in all four equations. So this is gonna help us practice how to solve equations. So if we look at a, we're gonna have three x minus 17, uh, yeah, equals 19. So what we're gonna do here, there's many things we can do to, to start with this, but let's say we're trying to solve for x, right? What we could do, let's say this confuses us, well, we could distribute the three, or we could divide by three on both sides. But let's say I do distribute the three, then I would get something like three x minus um, 17 times 3, so that's 3 times 10, 30, plus 3 times 7, that's 21, so minus 51 equals 19, and then I would get 3x, and then to get rid of a subtraction of 51, I would do plus 51 on both sides, right? So then 19 plus 51, so that's 60, that's 70, and x, we have a multiplication of 3, so I'm gonna divide by three on both sides. These threes cancel and we have 70 over three, which is not 12, right? It's not 12, so we know it's not this one. And we could keep going and let's just do D to prove that it works here. And I like do B and C as an exercise. So I'm giving you homework, B and C uh, as an exercise, okay? So make sure to do those. That's how you learn. So we have seven over three x minus six is equal to 22. What we could do here is do plus six because I'm trying to get rid of, uh, isolate x. So that would be 20, uh, sorry. I'll do seven over three x is equal to 28 because I'm doing plus six on both sides. And then I'm trying to get rid of the three, the bottom, so I need to multiply by three. There's many different ways to do this. So make sure you find your own groove by practicing. So the threes cancel, I'm left with seven X, then three times 28, that's three times 20, 60 plus 24, so that's 84. And then you divide by seven, so you get that X is equal to 84 over seven, and when you do the math, I'm guessing it's gonna be 12, so check your answer. 84 divided by 12, and here I'll show you a little bit of the one note magic. You can just type it in. 84 divided by seven, is that equal to 12? When you, when you type it in this and you press space, you get the answer. It calculates it for you. So we get indeed that our answer is confirmed.
and you can do B and C, but they're not going to be like not equal to 12. Okay. Awesome. And again, please subscribe to the video and I'll see you in the next video for question four.